Hey fellow gliders, welcome back. I'm Robert Petito and in this video we're going to show you how you can keep your apps on brand by leveraging Google fonts directly inside of your app. The process is actually very easy. Let's go ahead and take a look. Now let's say this app is all ready to go. The only thing that's missing is keeping it on brand by leveraging the company's custom fonts. What we can do is in settings and in the appearance section is add some custom CSS to allow you to import those custom fonts and then leverage them throughout the app in a variety of areas. So here's how we can go about doing that. All right, so the first thing is to find the font that your company is using. Let's pretend that they're using a custom Google font. We're going to go to that Google font. Let's say they're using this one called Manrope. Click on Get Font in the top right-hand corner. Select Get Embed Code. And then we're going to go to the import toggle at the top there underneath the web tab. And we're going to copy the middle section of this embed code where we are copying the font. So I'm just going to go ahead and give that a copy. I'm going to head back over to my app and I'm going to paste that in at the top of my custom CSS. Now, one important thing to know is that if you are using this import feature, inside of custom the CSS in order to import custom scripts. Uh, you can't use compiled CSS. It kind of tends to break the CSS in your Glide app. So you just have to leave that untoggled. And if you want to preview what the CSS looks like, you check the preview custom CSS toggle like that. All right, so we've told Glide that we want to import this font, and then now we have to tell Glide when to use it. If you want to apply this font everywhere in your app. What we can do is do hashtag page root, which means I kind of everything under the sun, and then asterisk, which means page root and then everything past page root. So it's all the divs, all the containers, all the components, all the elements, everything um, on your app. Okay, then we'll do curly bracket, curly bracket. And then we have to paste in the font family. So we're going to head back to Google fonts. And we see here that if we scroll down a little bit, uh, here's that man rope CSS class for a variable style. And I'm going to go ahead and copy again the middle section here. It allows us to specify the font family, the font weight. So the weight here can be changed depending on if you want a bold font or a non-bold font, anywhere from ranging from 200 to 800. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and copy this, head back, and then uh, paste, and then I'm going to change my weight. So you see here already that my font changed on the left-hand side. In case you missed it, in case you blinked, here I'm going to cut that and again paste it. So cut, this is what Glide's font is, and then paste, this is what the company's font is. So it's, looking, it's very subtle, but now we're keeping our apps on brand. And if we want to increase the font weight, let's say they have a 500 font weight, we just say 500. Okay, and we'll see that our font kind of changes thickness a bit. If they want to have something more bold, like 900 font, okay, you see it's going to be a little bit bolder, like so. Uh, we're going to keep it around 500. All right, so again, this will affect all of the font across every element in your app. All the menus, all the titles, all the components, right? And so now your Glide app seems a little less... Uh, cookie cutter, right? And a little bit more on brand, which is what we're looking for. Now, if you wanted to specify a component to have one of these fonts, right? Let's say maybe we're using this font for all of our text, maybe we're using a different font for our titles. We just have to give the component a CSS class. So just so you see what that looks like, if I uh, go to this body of text under the options section, I can give it a custom CSS class. So maybe this custom CSS class has a specific font and I can call this, I don't know, we can name it whatever you want, but I'm going to say font header. I'm going to copy that, go back to my settings, appearance. Okay. And then underneath page root, I'll say dot font header curly bracket, curly bracket, and then specify the font that we want to use. The first thing is head back up to your import and specify the family that you want to import, the font family. We've already imported the Manrope family, so now we want to also import the other font, in this case, uh, maybe the Barrio font. So we're going to import Barrio as well, and we can just kind of come to the end or come back to the beginning and just say family 
equals, and then the font name, in this case, Barrio, and then and to continue the family man rope, yada, yada, right? So we're specifying two families, family, o, family equals Barrio and family equals man rope. All right, so we've imported both of those fonts. And now we can actually use Barrio here in our font header. So back in Google Fonts, I'm going to go ahead and copy that CSS class for this Barrio. Come back and paste. Okay. Um, you see that it hasn't changed yet because there's a couple things we have to do. The first thing is that we have to specify what within this component we want to change because font header here is talking about the whole component, but that component is comprised of a frame and then it's comprised of the text inside of it. So we want to specify the text inside of the font header. I believe this is a header two. I can always inspect it by doing right click and then inspect. I believe it's a header two. In that case, it's just H2. So we'll say H2. Okay. And then the last thing is we need to make sure that this font family for this component is overriding this default page root. So to override a CSS class uh, before the semicolon at the end, we type exclamation point important, and then we should see, oops, exclamation point, not add sign. And we should see automatically that we now have an overridden font class. So yeah, that's how you can add custom fonts to your Glide app. And again, just to make sure that you're previewing and leaving that use compiled CSS unchecked. Because again, if you compile it, suddenly uh, all of your custom fonts will, uh, won't, won't be there on the published side or on the builder. All right, if you have any questions at all about how to import custom Google fonts into your app in order to keep your apps on brand, feel free to give me a shout in the comments below. You can also reach out to me at Twitter, at rpetito, or in the Glide community forums. And until then, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.